If you've been following theater news at all in the past year, you know that Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda's multi-ethnic rap opera about the life of America's first Treasury Secretary, has been generating buzz ever since it opened at the Public Theater back in February. Everybody from Michelle Obama to Weird Al Yankovic was talking about how awesome this show was. People were talking Tony Award. People were talking Pulitzer. The run at the Public sold out, as have seats at the Richard Rogers where Hamilton transferred in August. And when the original cast recording dropped in September, well, the internet exploded. In fact, some of you might be getting a little weary of all the talk already. But hey, this is the part of my channel where I get to geek out about the things I like, so we're doing this. Note that there will be spoilers in this video, but as the plot developments are over 200 years old and revealed in the opening number, I consider them fair game. And me! I'm the damn fool that shot him. Yeah, consider this your incentive to go out and listen to the Spotify playlist already. So how did a bio musical about a guy most people only know as that dude on the $10 bill make such a huge impact? The aspect of Hamilton most often brought up, its use of hip-hop in a story about colonial America, is, well, interesting, not necessarily innovative. The sound of music theater has always, to various extents, been tied to the sound of popular music, from the Tin Pan Alley days of Irving Berlin and Cole Porter to the rock modes of Hair and Rent to the power pop ballads of Andrew Lloyd Webber and Claude Michel Schoenberg. Even rap-dominant musicals aren't entirely unheard of, with the short-lived Tupac Shakur show Holler If You Hear Me and Miranda's own In the Heights. Using current music to add relevance to period settings is also an established device in shows like Jesus Christ Superstar and Spring Awakening. Hamilton is something even rarer than all this. It's a musical that manages to be very intelligent without sacrificing its ability to speak to a wider audience. If Hamilton isn't the first music theater score written in the popular mode, it is certainly one of the best constructed. Unlike other musicals that have tried to work in a current style, Annie 2014, I am looking in your direction, Hamilton never feels artificial or overproduced. The technical effects complement the dramatic storytelling, like in Satisfied when Angelica Schuyler flashes back to her first meeting with Alexander Hamilton through a striking use of echo and reverse effects. Manuel Miranda's writing displays near Sondheim levels of character and dramatic development. The leitmotifs for each character not only define